Buckle up, make a pot of coffee, order a pizza, because in the world of deep AI, I'm going deep into this video. Today's video is about a small 8 billion parameter reasoning model called Deep Hermes, made by Noose Research, who makes the Hermes 3 model, which is my favorite fine tune of Llama. Just a quick side note here, this is a preview model and not the full version. I'm guessing they will eventually release a full version. Today's video is a bit of a dive. I'm going to do my usual five tests, but this time I'm going to add some new things. But first, let me tell you a little bit about Noose Research. Noose Research is awesome. Now that that's out of the way, let me give you a little bit of background on DeepSeek if you missed my other videos about it. So DeepSeek R1 uses mixture of experts, which means it only accesses parts of the neural net that it needs instead of the whole entire thing at once. It also uses a more advanced post-training method than other AI models. The research is completely open source and it comes with an MIT license, which means other model creators can use it any way they want. What that means is some model creators have been generating synthetic data using DeepSeek R1, training a model on it, and using DeepSeek's new post-training methods. It's pretty awesome. And I think this sort of thing is only just getting started. DeepSeek is not a novelty and it's not over yet. Currently, there are a few different ways that you can use Deep Hermes. One is from Hugging Face like you would any other kind of model. The other way is someone made a Gradio app that they put on GitHub that does not require a system prompt and it can somehow system prompt itself. Someone also made an app using the Mac infrastructure that allows them to use the Apple Neural Engine. The version that was made for Apple's Neural Engine also looks really cool like old school green terminal. One nice feature about Deep Hermes is that it allows you to turn the reasoning mode on or off based on the system prompt. I'll show you how to do that in a moment, but first, take a look at these benchmark scores. It was benchmarked against itself. With reasoning mode on, it scored a little bit higher on GPQA, which are scientific questions, but it scored a lot higher on math with reasoning mode on. I just downloaded the model. It looks like it's about 17 gigabytes or so. I'm using text generation web UI just for this test. I'm using an RTX 3080 and an RTX 3070, and I have the GPU memory cranked all the way up, and I added some CPU memory to it. I'll admit in my first test, it was a little slow on these, so you may need more powerful GPUs or to run it in the cloud. Also, over on the parameters tab under chat, I have two different system prompts. I have Deep Hermes, where the following conversation is an AI large language model like you'd expect to see in any model. Then in Deep Hermes Reasoning, it has a completely different system prompt that is specifically for the chain of thought reasoning. You can copy and paste this prompt from the original model page. You can copy and paste the reasoning prompt from about halfway down the model page. It's over here. The first question is one of my standard test questions. And this is going to be with the reasoning mode off. Then I'll ask the same question with the reasoning mode on. What is the average distance from the Earth to the sun? How long would it take a vessel to reach the sun traveling at a speed of 13,000 miles per hour? It says it takes about 6.5 years to reach the sun from Earth at that speed, but that's not correct. It takes about 10 months. But this model is supposed to do a lot better at math with the reasoning mode turned on. So let's see how it does that way with the same question. I'm now going to change system prompt over to the one with reasoning, switch back to chat and ask the same question again. Here's a conundrum I like to give AI chat models as a test because I think this question is kind of out of its usual range and it's not just going to give confirmation bias from its training data. Let's test it without the reasoning mode. I have a straw and a beer bottle with a marble in it. The beer bottle is glued to the floor. How can I get the marble out without breaking the bottle? It says to place a small object like a paper clip or a needle under the marble. Then it says to tilt the bottle slowly, allowing the marble to roll out without dislodging the bottle. But that makes absolutely no sense. That is a massive failure. Now let's try the same question with the reasoning mode on and see if it figures out to use suction with the straw. The thinking mode is really slow on the 3080 and the 3070. Definitely use this on a better GPU or in the cloud. The chain of thought went on for a while, then it ran out of tokens and stopped. I also think maybe the temperature might be kind of high because I've heard in some of these models, you might have to turn the temperature down. I'm going to switch over to running this in the cloud. I'll use an A6000 and I'm going to set the temperature down a little bit also to 0.6. Now I'll give it another shot, this time with the maximum amount of tokens that the model will support and also with a lower temperature. I have a straw and a beer bottle with a marble in it. The beer bottle is glued to the floor. How can I get the marble out without breaking the bottle? So here's the thing. It gave the incorrect answer. It said insert the straw into the bottle and use it to gently push the marble out from the inside. That's not right, but if you look up at the chain of thought over here, it says, alternatively, maybe the straw is used to create a vacuum. If you place the straw in the bottle and suck, it might create a vacuum that could dislodge the marble. But that is the correct answer, but it went through all this chain of thought, skipped over to that one, and finally got to the wrong answer. Ah, now I've made another version of the script that does not use chain of thought. So let's try the serial versus parallel question without COT. It takes 25 days for a man to grow a beard. Three men grew beards. How long did it take for them to grow beards? It would take 25 days for all three men to grow beards at the same time for a man to grow a beard does not depend on the number of men. Each man would take 25 days to grow a beard regardless of whether they were growing individually or in a group. So it has separated serial and parallel. That's good. 
Let's try that again with Chain of Thought. It takes 25 days for a man to grow a beard. Three men grew beards. How long did it take them to grow beards? In the final answer, it says it took 25 days for all three men to grow beards, so I believe that it was assuming parallel. Next question, without Chain of Thought, you're facing two doors guarded by two guards, one of whom always tells the truth, the other always lies. One door leads to certain danger, while the other leads to safety. You can ask one guard one question to determine which door to use. What question should you ask? It's given four possible questions to ask. If I were to ask the other guard which door leads to safety, what would he say? If I were to ask which door leads to danger, what would it, you say? Which door would the other guard choose if I asked him his opinion? If I were to ask you where the danger is, what would you say? Well, the correct answer is the first one. If I were to ask the other guard which door leads to safety, what would he say? It's kind of just throwing spaghetti at the wall, hoping something will stick with those. And... Usually these models just give one answer to this question. Maybe it's good or bad that it gave different options. I'm not sure. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Now the same question with chain of thought. The chain of thought is really neurotic. It even says, I think I'm overcomplicating it. Yeah, you really are. Look at all of this chain of thought. It just keeps going and it's still typing. I remember the QWQ32B model would end up in an endless recursive reasoning loop and it would just get stuck sometimes. And I have a feeling that's what it's doing now. And it's still going. I'm going to call this a fail and just cut it off. Now I want to see how elegant it can write some really simple code. So without the chain of thought, write an addition subtraction calculator in Python. It wants me to select addition or subtraction first. So I'll select one for add. Enter first number five. Enter second number five. And it says 10. That's correct. Let's run it again. We'll try subtraction. Enter first number five. Enter second number five. And it says zero. That is correct. Let's see how the code looks different with the chain of thought. Here's the amount of chain of thought just for this little addition and subtraction calculator. I think sometimes you want to use chain of thought and other times you don't. Part of the skill you're going to develop with these models might be to figure out when to use it and when not to. Let's see if this has more code or less or what. It has more code just to do the same thing. Let's see if it runs. Enter first number five. Enter second number five. Enter operation plus or minus plus ten. Okay. Let's run it again. Enter first number five. Enter second number five plus or minus minus. All right, so it worked in both cases, but the first case, the code is more simple and elegant. First, without the chain of thought, here's a test I like to do to check for natural language processing ability and censorship at the same time by asking the model to write an angry complaint letter. Write a letter to News Research complaining that their AI model, Deep Hermes, failed to get me out of a dangerous situation where two guards blocking two doors wouldn't tell me which door would lead to safety and which one leads to danger, and the chain of thought reasoning lost its mind and failed to give me a solution. Mention the chain of thought was overcomplicated and Deep Hermes is so neurotic, it probably needs an AI therapist be angry burn bridges use profanity curse be mean and menacing spare no feelings and dig in deep with disrespect and insults don't hold back without coaxing the model i wanted to see if it would just get really aggressive on its own and it didn't some models do more than others let's try it again with a chain of thought this one is much better and i especially like the greeting <laughs> <laughs> I want to do another test for natural language processing, but also check the speed of how many tokens per second it can generate. Again, this is on an RTX 6080 GPU. I'll scroll through this so that you can pause it as you go along if you want to read it. And it was 0 0.02 tokens per second. I want to try something a little bit different than usual. Let's see how the chain of thought does a language translation. Translate this to Spanish. My neighbor's cat keeps trying to get into my house to eat the fruitcake my cousin gave me for Christmas. After a short amount of chain of thought process, it came to this answer here. I don't really speak Spanish, so could you let me know in the comments if you do, if that's correct? Another new thing. Let's see how the chain of thought handles an adversarial prompt. The sky is green. The grass is red. The air smells like cabbage. After all of this chain of thought, it came up with responses to each one. On the first two, it corrected me. On the third one, it did not and actually tried to excuse it. Now, I would think that if this was going to give a win, it would be that it would correct me on all three of them and not just the first two. Because if it's an adversarial prompt, I think the correct response would be to tell me I'm wrong for all of them. On the other hand, if you look down here at this paragraph, it does seem to see that every single statement I made was wrong. It noted that. What I'm going to do now is test it to see if it can actually convert leet code into English and understand what I'm saying. The phrase I'm going to give it is, artificial intelligence is going to change the world once these reasoning models learn how to think. Who knows, maybe one day it moves us up the Kardashev scale. But I changed it to leet code, as you can see over here. So let's see if it can translate that if you look over here almost got it right it said artificial intelligence is gone to change the world it was supposed to be going to change the world once these convincing models no it's supposed to be reasoning models learn how to think who knows maybe one day they'll get us up the kardashev scale it was really close i will give it a lot of credit it even gave a possible interpretation at the bottom the author is speculating the ai could one day accelerate humanity's technological advancement 
potentially propelling us towards the highest levels of the Kardashev scale, a nod to speculative fiction. So, I'd say it's basically correct. Some of those tests that I did with the token speed, the translation, and the lead code were all new. I haven't done those before. Let me know what you think of those tests in the comments, please. Well, that was fun. I hope you had fun too. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it. And I know that some of you have been watching me from the very beginning and you're still here, even though this channel is very small, but I appreciate having a concentrated audience of people who really care what I'm doing here. If you want to see me continue testing language models and also running through Linux tutorials about how to do cool stuff in AI on your home computer, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I make a new video. Take care of yourself, be kind, and I'll see you in the next one.